Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Trani. Thanks for watching us today. This week we are in California meeting with some of the best and brightest companies in tech and telecom uh, in the state. And on our program is Peter Voss, CEO of Smart Action. Uh, Peter, welcome to the show. Thank you. So uh, what does Smart Action do? Um, we develop uh, and supply um, premium uh, voice uh, activated uh, call automation. So uh, basically like an artificial intelligence kind of system where callers can speak with the computer? Um, that's correct. We use artificial intelligence to improve the, the quality of the conversation, to make it more intelligent and to improve automation rates and, and the user experience. So in terms of how your system compares with others in the market, uh, have you done head-to-head -head comparisons and can you share any of the results? Um, actually, yes. We, we've um, um, actually replaced a few existing IVR systems and we've had uh, really quite spectacular results. We've had, in, in some cases, um, you know, tenfold increase, um, uh, a, a large pest control company. Uh, we replaced the existing IVR and went from about 4% to over 40% uh, completion rate. And of course, the customer satisfaction went uh, way up as well. And we've had a few other successes uh, similarly, where we had you know, five-fold increase in uh, the completion, the automation rate. And what is it about your technology that allows you to have uh, better success with mm. callers? We're using uh, really a fundamentally different uh, a approach. Um, um, it, it's both from a technology point of view and, and from our business model. Now, on the technology side, we, we have an artificial intelligence engine that we've been developing over many years. In fact, that's how our company started originally. And that intelligence engine actually monitors and manages the conversation as it goes along. So you can, you can talk to the, our system in natural language, and it will interpret um, what you're saying and make sense of it. And um, that not, not only allows you to handle more complex uh, conversations, but it also improves the understanding rate significantly. So uh, conventional uh, speech IVR, the, the, the flow is completely mapped out. Every step has to be pre-designed, and the, um, the grammars are, you know, the, the, the vocabulary that can be understood has to be totally predefined. Now, which are, with our artificial intelligence engine, we have a very large vocabulary that you can, you know, interact in natural language. So where you, you sit in the, uh, the solution in the call mm -hmm. center, are you... Uh, competing against solutions from uh, Microsoft and Microsoft tell me in, a, in like a nuance? Is that where you're sitting? Yes. Uh, well, we, we actually knew, uh, um, use nuance speech recognition technology, but we enhance it through the artificial intelligence engine. Uh, so we would be competing with, uh, w with people like tell me, but, but um, you know, they don't have the artificial intelligence engine, the natural language. Uh, recognition, so that allows us to to improve uh, the the user experience and completion. So rate. you're you're really focusing on the grammars and and refining what the caller is saying for recognition purposes to try to figure out context and things like that. That's that's correct. Um, and the but the engine that there's an important distinction between other people who uh, who may have some artificial intelligence component. They would use the artificial intelligence to help design the system in uh, in, in the first place. We use artificial intelligence, the engine, to manage the conversation in real time. So, for example, it has uh, short-term memory. It will remember what was said earlier in the conversation. It can use that. Uh, it will disambiguate things that it doesn't understand. So if, if somebody says 40, you know, ask somebody's age, and it's not clear whether they're saying 14 or 40, our system, uh, you know, would use the context uh, to, 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 to rearrange the, the, the weighting of the hypothesis and make sense of, what, you know, what is the most likely thing that makes sense. Um, so that in intelligence uh, really adds to the whole quality of the conversation and allows us to, to handle more complex applications. So IVR is not really a well-loved technology. I, I think we know that, but companies... Mm -hmm by users anyway, but companies love it because it saves them money mm -hmm. and they don't have to have as many agents. So the question is, if you've got much higher completion rates, as you're mm -hmm. saying, I mean, um, was it 5% versus 40%? Was it something mm -hmm. like Correct. that? Yeah. So eight times mm -hmm. the, the call completion rates or, or mm -hmm. satisfaction or keeping people within the automated system where they can get their answers. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, it sounds to me like there's a tremendous ROI story here for customers that are purchasing your systems. Absolutely. Um, and uh, of course, it's not just the ROI. That is a really important component, uh, but it's also customer satisfaction. We have uh, quite a few cases where the quality ratings of our system are actually higher than that of the, the live agent. To give you one example, we're doing, uh, uh, for, a, for a large stationary company, we're doing returns and our system handles the returns transaction in, in three minutes, the live agents take six minutes. Can you give us an example of just uh, one or two statements that you can make to your system that are successfully, uh, I guess, understood? Well, the, the, kind of, the kind of thing, and we, we actually have a demo on our website as well that, that shows, shows some of the things, but an example uh, might be where you, you give a phone number and the, the system might confirm is that 555 123 Four, five, fourteen, um, and um, you know, and, and it might not understand. There might be two uh, phone numbers that actually match the database, and then the system uh, and, and the user might come back and say, uh, no, not two, three, one, uh, one, four, two, three, four, zero, oh. and it would recognize just saying the last couple of digits, for example, because it has the context that you're trying to, trying to do a, a phone number and that the ambiguity was, say, just in the last four digits. So, you know, it would be that. Another example might be on scheduling, uh, where our system will ask you, well, when would it suit you? And you would, could say something like, uh, next week, Tuesday in the afternoon, and it would understand that and, um, and then give you some, some times. So that's another one of our very successful applications that we do um, where we actually do scheduling. And are there any uh, target company limitations in terms of a certain amount of call volume that a company has before it would make sense to work with your company? Uh, yes. Uh, the, 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 the rule of thumb is actually be because we have such an efficient system to uh, we start off with a brain that already has a lot of capability, our development costs are actually quite lower. So we would be cost effective for call centers as small as 30 people. So, you know, from 30 up, upwards and, and, you know, if we can automate you know, a third of the calls, which would, might be typical, that would be cost effective. And are you a global company in terms of uh, other languages? Uh, no, we, we currently only ha uh, handle English and uh, we basically North America. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much for being on the show. All right. Thanks for having me.